Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of God. Unaweza kieta kwenye uwepo wa Mungu. God bless you praise the and the choir. Asante asante. Asante ni sana. Asante asante. Give me a little bit. I want to thank God. Nataka kushukuru Mungu for our covering. Kwa sababu ya wale ambao wamekusanya. Covering. Wale ambao our dad our mom. Kwa baba yao yetu na mama yetu for accepting us. Ambao wametukubali. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know when you are accepted. Ukikubalika you feel good. Unahisi vizuri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all of us we are here today. Na sote tuko hapa leo because there is a mother in the house. Kwa sababu kuna mama aliye hapa who never allowed us. Ambaye hakuturuhusu to be aborted spiritually. Ili tukaafyo kiroho and physically. Na hata kia kimwili. I appreciate Reverend Alice today. Wacha tumshukuru Reverend Alice leo. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. And I appreciate our daddy wherever he is. Kuru hata daddy yetu mahala lipo. I appreciate our other pastors who are here today with us. Shukuru hata wachungaji wengine walio hapa leo. Our leaders, our deacons. Viongozi wetu, deacons wetu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Wana talk about the bridegroom edition. Nataka kuongea kuhusu kipindi hichi cha biharusi. If you go with me to the book of Genesis. Yenda katika pamoja nami mwanzo. Chapter 24. Ishirina nne. I'm reading from a New Living Translation. Soma kutoka New Living Translation. And the Bible says Bila inasema uh, Genesis 24 from verse 1 And Abraham was now a very old man Na Ibrahim sasa alikuwa mtuzee sana And the Lord had blessed him Na Bwana alikuwa membariki in every way Katika njia zote And one day Na siku moja Abraham said to his oldest servant Abraham akamwambia yule mtumishi wake mzee mkongwe I want you to mark that the oldest servant Yule mzee yule mtumishi wake mkongwe his name was Eliezer. Jina lake lilikuwa Eliezer. This is a very strategic person. Huyu ni mtu ambaye makimwafaka sana. The oldest servant. Yule ambaye alikuwa mkongwe. The man in charge of his household. Yule ambaye ambaye alishikilia usukani katika nyumba yake. And he told him take an oath by putting your hand under my thigh. Akamwambia chukua kiapo kwa kuweka mkono wako kwenye paja langu. Swear by the Lord God of heaven on an earth. Na ukaapa kwa Mungu wa mbinguni na dunia that you will not allow my son hutaruhusu mwanangu to marry one of these local Canaanite women. Akaoe binti yoyote wa Kanani. Go instead. Nenda badala to my homeland. Kwa kwetu nyumbani. To my relatives. Kule nimetoka kwa ndugu zangu and find a wife there for my son Isaac. No kanipatie mke wangu kule uko manangu Isaka. I know you are wondering why I'm talking about Abraham and Isaac. Najua kwa nini nashindwa kuhusu na naongea kuhusu Abraham na Isaka. And you've heard about it. No umesikia kuhusu. So many times. Mara nyingi. But there is a story here. Lakini kuna hadithi hapa. He was told to go and find a wife. Akaambiwa nenda katafute mke. And the servant asked. Na mtumishi akauliza. But what if I can't find a young woman Naje kama sitapata binti ambaye bado ni mchanga Who is willing to travel so far from home Ambaye anaweza ataka kutoka mbali kwa onyu kutoka nyumbani kwao Should I then take Isaac there Basi nitapeleka Isaka kule to live among your relatives ili akaishi kwa ndugu zako in the land uh, where you came from katika mahali ambapo wewe ulitoka And Abraham said no Abraham akasema la he responded he said no akajibu akasema la be careful chukua makini never to take my son there usije ukapeleka mwanangu kule for the lord the god of heaven kwa vile mungu bwana mungu wangu wa mbinguni who took uh, me from my father's house ambaye nilitoa nyumba ya baba yangu and my native land na kule ambako nilitoka solemnly promised aliahidi to give this land to my descendants atapatiana hii ardhi kwa wale ambao watakuwa wetu and he will send his angel na atatuma malaika wake ahead of you mbele yetu and he will see to it na ataona kwamba that you find a wife there for my son utapata mke kule ambaye ataolewa na mwanangu hallelujah hallelujah 
I'm telling you you can be found wherever you are. Unaweza patikana mahali popote ulipo. Now I want you to know something. Nataka ujue kitu. That Abraham here Ibrahimu hapa is a type of our heavenly father. Ni aina ya baba wetu wa mbinguni. And Isaac here Na Isaka hapa is a son of the father ni mwana wa huyu baba so isaac is a type of jesus kwa hivyo isaka na aina ya yesu hello are you listening to me unanisikiza isaac is a type of christ isaka ni aina ya kristo who must receive the bridegroom ambaye lazima ampokee yule biharusi eliezer here eliezer hae napa is a type of the holy spirit ni aina ya roho mtakatifu that must locate the bride for Isaac. Ambaye lazima ampate yule biharusi kwa sababu ya Isaka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want us to go together in this narrative. Nataka twende pamoja katika hichi kipindi. And I want you to see how Rebecca is discovered. Nataka uone vile Rebecca alivyopatikana. Rebecca here. Rebecca hapa is the time of the group is the type of the bride that must be found. Ni aina ya biharusi ambaye lazima apatikane. And we know that Abraham is a friend of God. Na tunajua Ibrahimu ni rafiki yake Mungu. Abraham was disconnected from his people, his tradition, his culture. Abraham akatolewa kwa watu ambao wao ambao ni itikadi zao na hata tamaduni zao just to begin a real relationship with God. Ili akaanze mwenendo mpya na Mungu. I want you to look at Abraham as a friend of God. Nataka uangalie Abraham kama rafiki yake Mungu. Who has been changed and totally transformed. Ambaye kabisa kabisa amebadilishwa. And a man who has been tried. Na mtu ambaye amejaribiwa. That even when he was given this son that we are talking about. Hata alipopatiwa huyu ambaye tunanena kuhumusu mwana. Abraham took his own son. Ibrahimu akachukua yule mwanae wa pekee. And he wanted to sacrifice him. Na karibu amtoe dhabihu. The way the heavenly father took his own son. Dia vile baba wa mbinguni alichukua mwanae wa pekee and put him on the cross. Na kumweka pale msalabani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there is a relationship here. Hapa kuna uhusiano. Amen. Amina. And Abraham is a godly man. Na Ibrahimu ni mtu ambaye ana uungu ndani yake. And he says I don't want my boy to just marry Anas- anybody. Anasema sitaki kijana yangu akaoe mtu yoyote. I don't want him to marry a local woman from the Canaanites. Sitaki aoe mwanamke kawaida kutoka kwa Kanaani. Look at somebody here uh, a lady sitting next to you a man sitting next to you tell them you are not local Tizama mtu aliye karibu naye mwanamke mwanamume mwambie wewe si wa kawaida Come on say it like you know it you are not local Mwambie wewe si wa lokali Ah tell them again you are not local Mwambie wewe si wa kawaida This bride groom who you be harusi want to have a special bride anataka kuwa na biharusi wa kipekee so he stood go akaambiwa nenda and look for her from among my people na umtafute kati ya wale ambao ni wetu and they make a vow and they make a covenant na ufanye atoe na dhiri na kuwe na agano and like i said isaac represents Our Lord Jesus Christ the bridegroom. Na Isaka hapa anasimamia bwana Yesu Kristo ambaye ni bwana harusi. And God also offered his son as Abraham also offered Isaac as a sacrifice when he was tested in Hebrews 11 verse 17. Na pia Mungu akatoa mwanae kama vile Ibrahimu alipotoa mwanae wakati amejaribiwa katika hapo kitabu cha Ibrania. And Emily has talked this to us. Na Emily hayo ametuongelesha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And she's been teaching us powerfully. Na amekuwa kitufunza na njia. Na Eliezer here is a type of the Holy Spirit. Eliezer ni aina ya Roho Mtakatifu. And remember Eliezer was in charge of everything that belongs to Abraham. Na Eliezer alishushuka usukani wa chochote ambacho kilikuwa cha Ibrahimu. And when he was sent to go and look for this bride, alipotumwa akatafute huyu biharusi. He took 10 camels. Akachukua ngamia 10 and loaded it with precious na akaziweka na vitu vya dhamana za wadi za dhamana loaded it with precious gifts za wadi za dhamana za dhamana now john 15 verse 26 the bible says yohana 15 inasema 
15 verse 26 that when the comforter the helper is come whom I shall send unto you from the father even the holy spirit of truth he will testify of me the Holy Spirit Romtakatifu is looking for the bride biharusi from amongst God's people. Kati ya watu wa mungu. Not from among strangers. Si kati ya wale wageni. From amongst God's people. Kati ya watu wa mungu. And let me tell you something. Wacha ni kwambia kitu. Rebecca was not alone. Rebecca haku wa peke yake. There were other women. Kulikuwa wana wake wengine. There were other women. Kulikuwa wana wake wengine. So they were told in Genesis 24 verse 4 Go to my people and get a wife for my son Isaac And just like Isaac Had to remain at home I came here to remind somebody That Jesus will remain in heaven As the Holy Spirit Is busy And looking Kutafuta and preparing for the bride. Na kuanda yule biarusi. So you better be connected to the Holy Ghost. Unafaku mbonganishu na rom takatifu. And we were told by our pastor that the Holy Ghost, He is the anointing. Tu kambi ona mchugaji wetu yeye ndio upako. And you know when that day shall come. Na wakati huo utakapo wadia. And the anointing shall be upon you. Na upako utakuwa juu yako. Every burden shall be taken away. Kila mzigo utaondolewa. And every yoke shall be broken. Na kila nira itavunjwa. There are some yokes that will be broken Kuna tonight. Kuna nira zitavunjwa usiku wa leo. Because of the presence of the anointing. Kwa sababu ya upako wa roho mtakatifu. So Jesus remains in heaven. Yesu anabaki mbinguni. But the Holy Spirit, our type of Eliezer, is on assignment looking for a bride. May you be found in the name of Jesus. May you be located in the name of Jesus. Eliezer didn't know where to find Rebecca. But as she went, as, as he went, he surely found Rebecca. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rebecca is the bride of Christ. Rebecca ndiye mke wa Kristo. That must be willing. Ambaye lazima awe anatamania. She must say yes. Lazima aseme ndio because she is not being forced. Kwa vile hasukumiliwi to be betrothed to Jesus. Ashurushitishwe ili akaolewe kwa Yesu. Tell somebody she's not being forced. Mwambie halazimishwi. Mm -mm. She must say yes. Lazima seme ndio. She must accept. Lazima kubali. So the bridegroom remains in heaven. Basi biharusi atabaki uh, biha, bwana harusi atabaki mbinguni until the bride is ready. Hadi biharusi andaliwe. Acts chapter 2 verse chapter 3 verse 21. Matendo ya mitume 3:21. See that Jesus must remain in heaven. Nasema Yesu atabaki mbinguni until the time for the final restoration for all things. Hadi wakati urejesho wa mambo yote. I came to announce tonight. Nimekuja kutangaza usiku wa leo. That there are some things that are has been stolen from the kingdom. Kuna mambo yameibiwa katika ufalme. Those things must be recovered before the son of God come back. Mambo lazima rejesho kabla ya mwana kurudi. There are some of you that must go to your place and begin to dominate your place. Wengine lazima mwende mahali penyu na mwanze kutawala mahali penyu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you have a sphere of influence. Wengine muna hali yo ya kuyuvuti ama kushawishi. You must step in and begin to dominate. Lazima muingie pale na mtawale. And to gather whatever belongs to us. Na muka kusanye chochote ambacho ni chetu. There are some people here tonight. Una watu waliu hapa usikuwa leo. What was stolen from you. Kile kilibi wa kwako. It must be recovered. Lazima kirejeshwe. It must be returned. Lazima kirejeshwe. I don't care who took it away from you. The bride is not going to go empty handed. Even in Egypt. They didn't leave empty handed. They did not work for 400 years. To go empty handed. 
Jesus will wait until the restitution of all things. Yesu atangojea hadi kurejeshwa kwa mambo yote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Sifu jina la Yesu. And I thank God for this. Na shukuru Mungu this afternoon. Kwa hii adhuri ya leo. Ah from uh, Dr. Ron. Kutoka kwa Dr. Ron. The kingdom of God is getting empowered. Ufalme wa Mungu unatiwa nguvu. Not by might nor by power. Sio kwa nguvu sio kwa uwezo. God is releasing new wisdom. Mungu anawachilia hekima mpya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see millionaires Naona sitting here. Naona wameketi hapa. So that we can ili tuweze be able to finance the gospel. Kugaramia injili. Let me tell you gospel is not cheap. Injili si rahisi. Gospel is very expensive. Injili ni gharama. And people who are poor, na watu ambao ni maskini, they will know how to preach the gospel. Hawatajua jinsi ya kuhubiri injili. We must be blessed. Lazima tubarikiwe. So that we can go out. Ili tuweze kutoka nje. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know that every time I stand here and I'm preaching. Kila wakati nikisimama hapa baba, I see a road show truck. Naona gari lefu la kwenda kuhubiri nje. Road for living faith. For this ministry. Ya hii huduma. God will raise somebody here to finance such a truck. Mungu atainua mtu hapa agarimie hilo road. I said God will raise one person. Nasema Mungu atainua mtu mmoja to finance such a truck. Akagaramie lori kama hilo. Ask somebody how much is a million? Uliza mtu milioni ni pesa ngapi? It's just one. Mwambie ni moja tu plus six zeros. Iliyo na 06 only peke yake tell somebody god will raise you mwambie mungu atakuinua tell somebody again god will raise Ambia you mtu mungu atakuinua if all things were to be restored kama mambo yote yatarejeshwa everything that the enemy has stolen chochote kile adui ameiba i saw king solomon nikaona mfalme suleman when he was dedicating the temple wakati akiweka wakfu hekalu and he brought 22000 kettles na kaleta ngombe 1000 ya 1022 and i put a kenyan value on those 22000 kettles na weka dhamana kwa hao ngombe 1022 and after i calculated with my calculator baada ya kupiga hesabu ilitoa moshi ikakufa <laughs> the, <laughs> just exploded the because exploded. the value kwa sababu ile gharama of solomon's offering yes solomoni ebabihu yake was coming up ilikuwa inakuja if one animal cost 25k kama the lowest. lowest ile ndogo 500 a million Kenya shillings 500 million Kenya shillings 550 million Kenya shillings milioni 500 na hamsini za Kenya a one time offering from one man dabi huyu ya mara moja ya mtu moja tell somebody that's me ambia mtu huyo ni mimi Evil, these yo, things that I'm talking about. Hayo mambo yote nanena kuhusu. If there is to be a restoration of those things kama, that are stolen by the enemy. Kutarejeshwa zile ziliibiwa na adui. It means that believers ni kumaanisha waaminio will be pushed in the realm of true riches. Watasukumwa mahala pa utajiri wa kweli. And you call Dr. Francis Kimani? Unaita Dr. Francis Kimani? to teach us atufunze how to manage every single coin jinsi ya kuweza kushughulikia kila hela that comes into our hands inayokuja pesa mikono ni mwetu hallelujah hallelujah and we'll take some bankers who are members of this church and they will be our managers kwa wengine ambao wanafanya kazi katika hii hii huduma na watakuwa manager can you imagine when ukombozi will become a full bank kiria vile ukombozi itakuwa banki kamili look at you look at you tizama tizama wewe tizama wewe Praise the name of Jesus. Sifu jina la Yesu. I'm I'm speaking with a lot of confidence. Na nena na ujasiri because if Eliezer Kwa vile kama Eliezer was the one ndiye yeye who was managing alikuwa anashughulikia the resources zile rasilimali of Abraham. Ibrahimu. So can you imagine? Hebu fikiria. If Eliezer basi Eliezer is a type kama ni aina of the Holy Spirit. Roho mtakatifu. So the Holy Spirit basi Roho mtakatifu who is our help ambaye ni msaidizi wetu is managing today. Anashughulikia kia leo our father's resources zile rasimali za baba yetu
Uh, you are wondering where I'm going. I'm trying to put a sense in you. That you are that person. That must be restored. So tonight, anything that was taken away from you, even if it is the cut that you love so much, it will be restored. You know, nowadays, nowadays, young people love some things. They love animals. Because as they are growing up, they must have pets in their houses. Pets. Millions of shillings. And it is millions of shillings. Na gospel atuwezi support. Na injili basi haitaweza. But those people are not here in Jesus. Lakini hao watu hawako hapa katika jina la Yesu. I declare today in the name of Jesus. Natangaza leo katika jina la Yesu. For somebody to recover. Kwa mtu apate urejesho. Somebody to recover. 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 Mtu apate urejesho. What the enemy stole. Kile ambacho adui ya meiba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit. Rome Takatifu. The type of Eliezer took ten camels. Aina Eliezer kachukwanga miyakumi. Verse ten. Look at verse ten. Twenty-four. The chapter twenty-four. Verse ten. Shina ne kumi. Then he loaded ten of Abraham's camels. Basi akachukwanga miyakumi wa Ibrahimu. With all kinds of gifts. Na kabeba aina zote za zawadi. From his master, kutoka kwa wale mbao, kutoka kwa vitu vyote. And he travelled na kafsafiri to distance umbali. And there he went to the town where Abraham's brother Nahu had settled. Apo kwenye kwa ndugu yake Abraham Nahu mahala alikuwa naka. And he made the camels to kneel down. Akafanya wale angamia wachichumai beside a well. Pale kando na kizima outside the town. Na pale inji amji. It was evening. Pali kuwa jioni. Please note that it was evening. Tazama kwamba ilikuwa jioni. Even the ten virgins. Hata wale kumi bikra. It was in the evening time. Ilikuwa kati wa jioni. That was the hour that was critical. Hiyo ndiyo wasa amba ulikuwa muhimu. But I want you to look at this place. Lakini nataka wangalia hapa. It was at the well. Ilikuwa pale kisimani. A place where the Holy Spirit is in operation. Mahali amba poro mtakatifu anafanya kazi. Because water is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. Kile kinadhihirishwa katika roo mtakatifu hapa. It was at the well. Ilikuwa ni kisima. That Rebecca was located. Ambapo Rebecca alipatikana. Praise the name of Jesus. Wana sifuwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifujina la bwana. Are you getting something? Unapata kitu. So the Holy Spirit. Rom takatifu. Is looking for the bride. Anatafuta biharusi. From amongst God's people. Kati ya watu wa mungu. And not from the strangers. Na wala siyo kwa wala mao ni wageni. So. The Father in heaven Baba wa binguni is in the business ako katika ile hali of seeking for a bride ya kutafuta biharusi for a for his son in the last days. Kwa sababu ya mwanae siku za mwisho. And just before darkness. Na kabla tu ya giza. Manifest. Kudhihirika. Because we are living in the days. Tuko katika zile siku. Where gross darkness. Ambapo giza tororo. Will cover the earth. Itafunika dunia. And the season of wickedness. Na wakati wa uovu. Will cover the earth. Utafunika dunia. But I tell you God's people. Lakina wambia watu wa mungu. The fact that there will be wickedness. Ukweli kwamba kutakuwa na uovu. Is not to nullify. Siku ondoa the wonders of God. Majabu ya mungu. When the enemy comes in like a flood. Adui basi ya kija kama furiko. The spirit of our God. Roho wa ke mungu. Will lift up the standard. Ata inu wa kiwango. Against him. Kinyu menae. The more the world get wicked. Vile dunia inazidi kuwa na uovu. The more supernaturals will experience. Nivo zaidi miujiza itapatikana. Because our God is not dead. Kwa sababu mungu wetu hajafa. Our God is alive. Mungu wetu yu hai. And if he is alive. Kama yuko hai. I can face tomorrow. If he's alive. Kama yuko hai. Like Dr. Ron said yesterday. Kama vile Dr. Ron la sema jana. Then I have the power. Basi ni nanguvu. I have the power. Niko nanguvu. 
If he is alive, we have the power. Kama yuko hai niko na nguvu. You don't know who you are. Unajua wewe ni nani? Until you get in a storm situation. Hadi upate katika hali ya dhoruba. We don't know. Unajua? Ask Emily. Uliza Emily. She was there. Alikuepo. When she was giving birth to Daniel. Wakati akipata kujifungua yule mtoto Daniel. Ask me. Niulize. I was there one day in Uganda. Nilikuwa mara moja kule Uganda. And I got to one place and I found these Ugandan boys with the bazookas pointed at our car. Kapata hawa vijana wa Kiganda wamemulika gari langu na bazooka. If I did not die then. Kama sikufa li wakati ule. And I did not know God. Basi nasikuambia Mungu. But the devil is not going to take me out now that I know him. Basi shetani hata niondoa sasa wakati nasikia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is under our feet. Ako chini ya miguu yetu. Tell somebody he is under our feet. Ambia mtu ako chini ya miguu yetu. Just before darkness. Kabla tu ya giza. The bride will be found. Bi harusi atapatikana. As she comes to draw water. Akija kuteka maji. How many came to deliverance church tonight? Wengine walikuja deliverance church usiku wa leo ni wakati. Ili wakateke maji. I'm not take, talking about Kiringeti. Siongi siongee kuhusu Kiringeti. I'm not talking about Jiris water. Sisi si kuzama Jiris water. I'm talking about Nao sema kuhusu maji that those who would drink this water takao kunywa haya maji they would never thirst again wala hawataona kiu tena as rebecca na rebecca came to draw water akija kuteka yale maji eliezer eliezer the type of the holy spirit aina ya roho mtakatifu so rebecca akaona rebecca and all he needed to do kila alihitaji tu kufanya is to request for water to drink alikuwa tu kumwagizia maji ya kunywa let me tell you people of dcik wacha niwaambie watu wa dcik there is somebody who is carrying your miracle kuna mtu amebeba mujiza wako that's why you should never despise anybody ndio maana ufai kudharau mtu yoyote There are some people here Kuna who watu hapa. make angels who came for their transformation to go away. Ambao watafanya hata malaika wao waliokuja waende waondoke. This man had prayed. Huyu mtu alikuwa ameomba that the woman who will come. Mwanamke atakaye kuja. And I ask for water. Na niulize maji. And she gives it to me. Na anipa maji. And she feeds my camel. Na hata anywe shenga mia zangu. That's the character. Huyo ndiye mwenye mwenendo wa matabia. That's the bride. Huyo ndiye biharusi. God is not looking for a lazy bride. Mungu hatafuti biharusi ambaye ni mzebe. God is looking for a strong woman. Anatafuta mwanamke mwenye nguvu. Like the one I have. Kama yule nilie naye. This one of mine is strong. Wake ana nguvu. And when we are walking I have to tell her hey baby tanikienda muambia tafadhali mpenzi relax tulia get there tafika the woman came mwanamke akaja and she offered eliezer water na akampatia eliezer maji he drank akanywa and he knew god has come na akajua Mungu amekuja tell somebody seated next to you god will come ambia mtu aliye karibu na wewe Mungu atakuja And then she's the one who said Kisha ndiye alisema I will even offer water for the camels Hata nitanywe shangamia wako Do you know how much water a camel would drink Unajua ngamia inaweza kunywa maji kiasi gani Camels drink a lot of water one camel Ngamia moja but this one woman huyu mwanamke tu moja she went down the river and fed one camel na akanywesha moja fed another camel kija mwingine and by the time baada wakati akimaliza she was done with 10 camels akimalizia ngamia wote 10 she was still generous bado alikuwa mkarimu she was still hospitable bado alikuwa mkarimu she was still full of kindness bado alikuwa na rehema she was still full of love bado alikuwa na upendo she was still full of confidence kwa na ujasiri those are the qualities of the bride hizo ndizo ishara za biharusi she was willing to do more bado alikuwa anataka kutenda zaidi she was willing to give more kwa nataka kupeana zaidi those are the qualities of the 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 the, the, the bride hizo ndizo zinaonyesha biharusi because right there alikuwa tu pale there were other women kulikuwa na wanawake wengine 
They were just watching. And maybe some of them were from our Central Kenya. Na wengine pengine walikuwa kule mlima kana kimireko. Huyu ametoka wapi? Where is she? Oh you know who is this? Are you listening to what I'm saying? Nasikiza vile nasema. Eliezer was rejoicing on the inside. Eliezer alikuwa anafurahia kwa ndani. Because he could see the mission. Kwa vile angeona ule mwito. Let me tell you somebody who is here tonight. Wacha nikwambie mtu aliye hapa usiku wa leo. Don't you be frustrated by a company of people who will never approve you. Usifadhaishwe na watu ambao pengine hawakukubali. Don't you be moved by people who oppose you. Usiondolewe na watu ambao pengine wanakupinga. In fact if you are opposed by people kama unapingwa na watu then there is something good about you unamaanisha kuna kitu kizuri kukuhusu because your opposition kwa sababu upinzani wako is a strong sign ni ishara kubwa of your strong position ya hali yako ama sehemu yako nguvu ya ukuu sehemu yako kuu cheo chako kikuu hallelujah hallelujah when they reject you wakikukata for every shame i'll give you double honor kwa kila aibu utapatiwa heshima maradufu there is a woman here that is about to be honored kuna mwanamke hapa karibu kuheshimika by men si kwa wanaume not by women's group si wavikundi vya wanawake i said not by women group sema si vikundi vya wanawake i don't care how long it's been ni takamu daga i want to declare nataka kutangaza a time has come for reproach to be rolled away and for every shame na kila aibu god gives you double honor mungu anapatia maradufu oh god gives you double honor mungu anapatia heshima maradufu praise the name of jesus sifu jina la yesu begin to dance anza kupiga densi when they say those things to you wakisema hayo mambo kwako glory to god tukufu kwa mungu I don't need their approval. Sitaji kuabalisha kuku kubaliwa kwao. If my daddy has approved me and my mommy. Kama baba yangu na mama yangu wamenikubali. I don't want anybody else to approve. Sitaki mtu mwingine yote anipe. As a matter of fact, I have a policy. Na kweli hata mimi na mwito. If my wife approves me. Mke wangu akinikubali. That's all I need. Tosha mimi unahitaji. I don't have to compete with anybody. Sifai hata kushindana na mtu yoyote. Because your destiny and my destiny are different. Kwa vile hatima yako na yangu ni tofauti. Our gifts are different. Karama zetu ni tofauti. But two of us. Lakini si wawili. Coming together. Tukija pamoja. We can do more. Tunaweza fanya zaidi. There were women they were standing. Kulikuwa na wanawake wamesimama. None of them was picked. Hakuna yote yule alichukuliwa. I pray that the Holy Spirit. Naomba Roho Mtakatifu when he comes. Akija. Selecting the bride of God. Akichagua biharusi wa Mungu. People in this place. Watu walio hapa. Will be marked. Watachukuliwa. The mark of God. Na ile ishara ya Mungu. The name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And men will see. Na wanaume wataona. Watu women will see. Wanawake wataona. They will consider together. Watatafakari pamoja. And they will say only like I'm going to say. Sema tu kama vile nitasema. That the hand of God. Kono wa Mungu is upon this man of God. Uko juu ya huyu mtu. The hand of God is upon her. Uko juu yake. Praise the name of Jesus. Sifu jina la Yesu. At the place Mahala. where there is a well. Pale pana kisima. This is a well. Hii ni kisima. Hichi ni kisima. It never run dry. Ambacho hakita kauka. Even the other day we saw a well being dug right next year in near the church. Wakati mwingine tukaona kisima kikichimbwa tu hapa katika kanisa. God want to do something. He Mugu. takes people to the well. Akitaka kufanya kitu anapeleka watu kwenye kisima. When he wanted to to test and uh, to interview men who are going to go with Gideon. Akitaka kujaribu wale watu wataenda na Gideon. He took them to a river. Akawapeleka mtoni. Amen. Amina. Took them to a river. Kapeleka mtoni kukunywa maji so that they can take water and sometimes god can even take us on a table na saa zingine mungu anaweza kupeleka kwenye meza because sometimes we lack some etiquette sababu saa zingine tunakosa tabia fulani and he want to train us na anataka kutufunza so during gideon wakati wa gideoni the guy came watu huyo mtu akaja Some of them said that they are afraid wengine wakasema wanaogopa and what those who are afraid wakaambia walioaoga 
Go back home. Rejeeni nyumbani. And 22,000 left. Elfu shirina mbili wakarudi. I don't know how many are here and are fearful. Sijuni wangapi walio hapa na wanawoga. This thing that I'm talking about, you don't have to entertain fear. Hili jambo na nena kuhusu hufai kukaribisha uoga. God has not given you the spirit of fear. Mungu waja kupatia roo uoga. God has given you the spirit of power. Mungu waja kupatia roo uoga. Tell somebody I have power. Ambia mtu ni nanguvu. Say it like Dr. Ron. I have the power. Sema kama Dr. Ron. Nina power. Say it again now and you amplify more. I have the power. Nina nguvu. I have the power. I'm talking about me. Mimi, mimi. Tell yourself I have the power. Sema nina nguvu. God has not given you the spirit of fear. Mungu aja kupatia roho uoga. He has given you the spirit of love. Ambe kupatia roho upendo. Power and sound mind. Nguvu na akili timamu. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. So he took this man there. Akapeleka hao wanaume pale. 22,000 were disqualified. Elfu 22 wakaondolewa. If you are here tonight you will not be disqualified. Kama uko hapa usiku wa leo hautaondolewa. Hautachujwa. And then he said God said the men are too many. Ukisha Mungu akasema hao watu bado ni wengi. You know God does not work with multitudes. Mungu afanye kazi na wingu la watu. God does not do things because of numbers. Mungu afanye kazi kwa sababu ya nambari ya wingi wa watu. Two with God are the majority. Wawili na Mungu ndio wengi. Two with God they can call the shot. Wawili na Mungu wanaweza tamatisha jambo. God doesn't have democracy like we are trying to have democracy. Mungu hana demokrasia kama vile tunajaribu kuwa nayo. They were told there are even more. Wakaambiwa hata ni zaidi bado. Bring them down the river. Walete hapa mtoni. And I'll give them an interview. Bado nitawajaribu tena. And they were told to go and drink water. Wakaambiwa waende wanywe maji. And some of them died. Wengine wakaanguka. And they started drinking maji wanasahau kule wako. They tried to drink water and they even they forgot where they were. Amen. Amina. Some of them rolled in the river. Wengine wakajibingirisha kwenye maji. I used to do that when I was a young boy. Kwa nafanya hivyo nikiwa kijana mdogo. Amen. Amina. And every time it rained. Wakati wote kinyesha. We would go down the river in our village. Naja mtoni pale kwenye kijiji. And chota maji. Chota maji. And go somewhere where there is a hill. Kisha kwenda mahali mlimani. And that is a dam. Na hiyo basi ndio demo. Make the place slippery. Fanya mtele zo. Amen. Amina. Find a little carton. Pisha ka carton kidogo. If you can imagine what I'm talking about. Kama unaweza fikiria kile nasema. Those days we did not have this kind of things. Hizo hatukuwa na vitu kama hizi. And we would sit na ka and roll right inside the dam. Taleza mpaka ndani ya maji. And by the time you get there, ukifika pale, God bless you. You have to use omo that you use home for three weeks. Mungu anaweza utatumia homo ambao unatumia nyumbani kwa wiki tatu. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifu jina la Bwana. But one day we lost our friends. Siku moja kupoteza rafiki yetu. He went in a deep end and he, there was a tree. Kaenda kilindini palikuwa mzizi wa mti. And he got stuck. Akakuwa mapale. And uh, it was a sad story. Ilikuwa hadithi ya kuzinisha. Praise the name of Jesus. Sifu Other si... women were there. Wakuna hata wanawake walikuwa pale. The place of testing. Mahali pa kujaribiwa. For Gideon people he was left with 300. Kwa Gideon akabaki na 300. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Other women were there. Wanawake wengine walikuwa pale. But I want you to see the quality of the this type of a bride. Nataka uone ni aina gani ya huyu bibi harusi alikuwa. Who gets the favor from the messenger of God. Anayepata kibali kutoka kwa mjumbe wake Mungu. Like I said Rebecca was full of confidence. Nasema Rebecca alikuwa na ujasiri. She was strong. Alikuwa na nguvu. She was hospitable. Alikuwa mkarimu. She was kind. Alikuwa na rehemu. She was generous. Alikuwa mtu mkarimu. She was hard working. Alikuwa mfanyakazi mwenye bidii. She was loving. Alikuwa mtu wa upendo and always put on a smile. Na kila wakati anatabasamu. Hebu muniangalie na smile. Niangalie na tabasamu. Aki niangalie ni na smile. Angalia tu askofu na tabasamu. That was Rebecca. Huyo ilikuwa Rebecca. The bride of Jesus Christ. Yule ambaye ni bibi wa Kristo. So the bride of Jesus Christ. Huyo ambaye ni biharusi wa Kristo. Must ask 
actively be involved in the kingdom exploits. Lazima ahusike kabisa katika mambo ya ufalme. You know why we come to this church every time there is a conference? Unajua kwani tunakuja katika hili kanisa wakati kuna ngokomano? We come here to check what you are doing. Tunakuja kutizama kile mnafanya. And when we go back, tukirejea in our church, ka, kanisani mwetu, in our village, katika kijiji chetu, we say, tunasema, we are in a rural setting. Tuko mahala kwa kijiji, kwa mpangilio wa kijiji, but we have gone. Lakini tumeenda to a church kwa kanisa in an urban setting nilo pala mjini and we have learned na tumejifunza how they do things vile wanavitenda mambo when i came here nilipokuja hapa for the first time kwa mara ya kwanza and i saw the red carpet nikona ka umzuria nyekundu we had a blue carpet in our church tulikuwa na zuria ya blue kanisa i went and removed the three away the blue nataka toa samata wati when i saw nilipoona that my father kwa baba yangu crimes with the stairs from one side anapanda kwenye ngazi kutoka pande moja and there is a ramp on the other side pande ile nyingine basi ni pale kwa kifaa removed all the stairs nikaondoa zile stairs zote the stairs on one side nikabakisha tu pande moja and put the ramp on this side nikaweka pande ile nyingine mahala tu pa kupanda pengine na kigari hallelujah hallelujah When I saw nilipoona that the speakers kwamba ma speaker are not put on the platform kwa sauti hizi yako kwa mababu they are hanged with their excellence zimewekwa pahala juu <laughs> I called the technicians nikawaimbia wale ambao ni wahandisi I hanged mine up pia zangu nikazipeleka juu <laughs> When I came here nilipokuja hapa and I saw the lights nikaona hii miale ya mwangaza I also decided pia mimi nikaamua that I will put a bridge nitaweka pale and have lights focusing at me nitakuwa na miale miale na nilenga pia Listen this woman who is to be selected huyu mwanamke ambaye anachaguliwa she must be actively involved with kingdom exploits lazima husike kwa ujasiri na mambo ya ufalme What else did I see here Nini ingine niliona hapa We also saw pia tukaona that there is a clock kuna kuna uh, saa because i used to preach nilikuwa nahubiri an everlasting gospel injili ya milele <laughs> and when i came here for the first time kuja hapa kwa muda wa kwanza <laughs> i didn't know how to manage my 35 minutes sikujua jinsi ya kujipeleka katika muda so when i went back nikipole nipole she put a clock pia nikaweka Yeah. And now I can manage. Sasa naweza weka pia. As a matter of fact. Kwa kweli. Instead of the clock telling me time is over. Badala kuniambia muda umekwisha. I'm the one who tells it I have finished. Mimi huwa inapia nimemaliza. And I call an altar call. Naishi tamwito hapa mbele. When I came here. Nilipokuja hapa. And I saw how pastor sit. Kona vile wachungaji wana keti. I also decided my pastors will sit like that. Nikaamuru pia wangu wataketi vile. When I saw the carpet here in front. Nipona zuria pale chini. I also did the same. Pia nikatenda vile vile. Now guru you know what to do. Sasa nguru unajua nini ndo afanya. Because karatasi yenu inatoheka. Hii ndio. Eh kwa vile hii karatasi nzuri ni kama iko hapa. I brought my maintenance pastor. Nikaleta yule mchungaji ambaye anahusika kwa jeshi. So when you go back. And you come to our church in the village. Na ukija kanisani kule mjijini. You think you are in DCIK. Utafikiria uko DCIK. We are here to learn. Tuko hapa kujifunza so that we can transform the kingdom. Tukabadilisha ufalme. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What else did we do? Nini nyingine tulitenda? I found that daddy. Kapata kwamba baba. Every Saturday. Kila Jumamosi. Has a G12. Ako na G12. I formed my own G12. Pia yangu nikaiunda. <laughs> I asked him what time do they meet? Kamuliza huwa mnakutana saa ngapi? He told me we meet at 6 o'clock in the morning and they are never late. Kanambia dinashara asubuhi na wachelewi. So I selected my G12. Pia yangu nikaichagua. I said we will meet from 6 o'clock. Kasema tutapatana saa kuna mbili. And I said what I had Omedo say. Na nikasikia vile Omedo alisikia akisema. And if you are late, na ukichelewa, please don't come. Tafadhali usikuje. Go where you are going. Kwaenda tu kule ulikuwa unaenda. And when you finish with no. your business. Kimaliza biashara zako. Then you can come next. Kisha unaweza kuja na uendelee. Emily is reminding me that we didn't, didn't we didn't have big monitors. Hatukuwa na monitor kubwa. Now we have them. Sasa tuko nazo. 
What am I saying? Nina sema. That the bride of Christ kwamba yule biharusi wa Kristo will be actively involved ata husika kabisa in kingdom work. Katika kazi ya ufalme. Verse 16 we see that Rebecca here. Aya 16 unaona Rebecca hapa. She was also very beautiful. Bi alikuwa mrembo sana. An old enough. Na alikuwa mzee kiasi kwamba. Not alikuwa na ule uh, alikuwa amekomaa kiasi. Amekomaa kiasi ya kwamba. You know this this talking about maturity. Hii kukoma. She was alikuwa beautiful mrembo kipusa hebu muangalie mtu na mwambie you are beautiful mwambie mtu wewe ni mrembo kama ni mwanaume mwambie you are handsome kama mwambie and you are smart i just sometimes you come to church you never even tell somebody kija kani sana saa zingine hata uambi mtu you are looking beautiful unaonekana mrembo to the pure all things are pure kwa walio watakatifu basi mambo yote yana utakatifu yeah even if you are a lady and i look at you now make sure my wife is there if i tell you you are beautiful i mean it hata kama wewe ni dada no other business sina biashara ingine nikwambia wewe ni mrembo after all this is our father you are my sister huyu ni dada yangu na huyu ni dada yangu praise the name of jesus sifu jina la yesu now I've come in this conference nimekuja kwa hili kongamano i have seen a motif nimeona motif motif Motifu motif ni keyboard ni ile <laughs> kinubi kikubwa <laughs> My keyboard is alikuwa hapa ameenda shauri yake Piga kinubi alikuwa hapa lakini ameenda Rebecca was beautiful Rebecca alikuwa mrembo Look at verse 16 as I go to finish Aya 16 nikimaliza she was very beautiful Alikuwa mrembo and old enough to be married Na amekomaa kiasi ya kuolewa you must be qualified. Lazima uwe umefaulu among many other brides. Kati ya wengine ambao ni biharusi. Qualified. Umefaulu. Qualified. Umefaulu. Mature enough. Umekomaa kiasi. Now when somebody wrongs you, you forgive them. Mtu akikukosea unamsamehe. Amen. Amina. Forget, you forgive them and when you do something wrong to them you go and you say I'm sorry I hurt you Amen Amina. The bride of Christ must be humble enough Let us be people who can be squeezed as we were told It's not heart that is coming from inside. It's not pain that is coming from inside. But when we are squeezed, let the love of God come out. Did you know that faith without work, without love can never work? Even if you had so much faith, hata kama ulikuwa na imani mingi kiasi gani, and you lacked faith, you lacked love, na umekosa upendo, you can never help somebody. Hauwezi saidia mtu yeyote. Faith and love works together. Imani na upendo zinafanya kazi pamoja. Amen. Amina. Praise the name of Jesus. Nisifu jina la Yesu. This bride of Jesus. Huyu biharusi wa Yesu. She must be qualified. Lazima awe mefaulu. Verse 17, the bride of Jesus must be sensitive. Aya kumina saba, lazima pia awe makini. To the voice of the Holy Spirit. Kwa sauti ya Rome takatifu. Because Rebecca. Kwa vile Rebecca. She said, yes my Lord. Alisema ndiyo buwana wangu. And she answered. Na kajibu. And she said, have a drink. Aka sema kunywa maji. Are you hospitable enough? Wewe ni mkarimu kiasi. To offer. Kuweza kupea assistant to strangers. Usaidizi hata kwa wageni. Or do you bless people because you know them? Ama unabariki watu kwa sababu unawajua. And you know that when you bless them, they will reciprocate. Na unajua kwamba wakikubariki, ukiwabariki pia wajibiza. Rebecca did not even know Rebecca hata kujua whether this man had an agenda. Kama huyu mtu alikuwa na jambo fulani anaitaji. 
she was doing what was in her yeye alikuwa anatenda tu kilichokuwa ndani yake was coming out freely kutoa tu bure look at somebody sit next to you and tell them i love you my brother my sister ambia mtu aliye karibu na yako nakupenda ndugu yangu na dada yangu Like Rebecca. Kama Rebecca. The bride of Jesus Christ. Biarusi wa Yesu Kristo. Will be rewarded. Atalipiwa ama atawadiwa. No so that we can have big things. Si tukapate vitu vikubwa. But we can be better. Lakini ili tu afadhali. Amen. Amina. The blessings that were put on these camels. Barako ambazo ziliwekelewa kwa hayo ngamia. And I'm talking to fathers who are here. Na nenea baba walio hapa. I'm talking to fathers because I'm a father of girls. Na nenea baba kwa sababu mimi ndio baba wa wasichana. And when it comes to issues of marriage. Ikifika mambo ya ndoa. Mzee unagojea mtoto wako aolewe unaona BMW inakuja. You wait you wait for your daughter to be married and still you see the BMWs are coming. Hapana. Atuzi watoto wetu. We don't sell our daughters because sons who comes to us kwa sababu wana wa kiume ambao wanakuja kwetu like me now the sons who come to me kama sasa wana wa kiume watakao kuja kwangu i'll be the proudest man nitakuwa mtu ambaye anaringa kabisa me and emily there is a time mimi na emily kuna wakati when emily is carrying babies in her womb yeye amebeba mtoto pale tumbo i would even begin to call them ningeanza hata kuwaita our number three girl we were calling her matthew matthew sana watatu tulikuwa namuita matthew matthew Because God has given us the first two girls. Mungu ametupatia wasichana wawili. Now is a season for boys. Sasa ni wakati wa vijana. When Matthew was born. Matthew alipozaliwa. Amen. Amina. Modoni. Modoni stand up. Modoni simama. And then Emily carried. Kisha Emily akabeba. Emily carried. Akabeba. And every time Emily is preaching she uh, she will say some things. Kila wakati akihubiri alikuwa anasema mama. Ati she was either ni pengine carrying a baby. Yeah baby. Hakuna mtoto. Wewe. Don't say that again. <laughs> Same hapo <hipo> tena. <laughs> When Mudoni was conceived. Mudoni alipopatikana. Then we said. Kasema If God did not give us a boy this time. Kama Mungu hakutupatia kijana wakati huu. If Matthew did not come. Kama Matthew hakuja. Matthew means eh huh? Ma- Matthew but the gift from God did not come. Kama karama kutoka kwa Mungu haikuja. Then we must have a man. Lazima tuwe na mwanamume. Whom we will call Daniel. Ambaye tutaita Daniel. 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 Not Daniel, not Daniel, Daniel for the boy. Daniel wa kijana. Daniel jina la kijana. Then when Daniel came Kati Daniel alikuja. We just had to twist. Lazima and have a French name. Tubadilishe tu jina la Kifrench. Daniel for the girl. Daniel kwa sababu ya msichana. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? Si yeye ni mrembo. God bless you. Mungu akubariki. What am I saying? The boys who come to me. Vijana watakao kuja kwangu. Hakuna formality. There will be no formalities. Kama uko hapa jionyeshe. Jitokelezee. If you are here, show up. Show up. Tokelezea. Hata dadi nilisikia kiambia kijana mmoja muhansa mjionyeshe. I had. Ta mimi nina wasichana. Then we have girls. Praise the name of Jesus. Sifu jina la Yesu. And let me just say to our tradition men. Wacha niambie watu ambao wanafuata itikadi zetu ambao wako ziko ngumu. Jacob didn't have anything. Jacob hakuwa na chochote. But when he connected with Laban. Lakini alipojiunganisha na Labani. Jacob made Laban become who he became. Lakobo Jacob akafanya Labani awe vile alivyokuwa. Because Jacob kwa sababu Jacob would go to the field angeenda shambani and put sticks na kuweka miti and bring the sheep na kuleta wale kondoo between the sticks wapitia katikati ya ile miti and he would prophesy na ngetabiri you have spots wewe utapata madoa you don't have spots wewe utapata madoa madoa doa And he would tell his father in law the one with the spots are yours. Anasema ule aliye na madoa doa ni wako. And most of the time the father in law called him. Na wakati mwingine yule baba yake angemuita. But he never 
moved Jacob. He made Laban become a wealthy man. Akamfanya Labani awe mtu tajiri. Your sons and your daughters who come to your home they are a blessing. Wewe wake na umbe wanakuja nyumbani kwako ni baraka. Tell somebody they are a blessing. Ambia mtu ni baraka. Amen. Amina. And now you know why I'll miss. So ndio kwa nitakosa. The 35 stairs of cakes. Zile keki mingi. Cuz there is like a small cake. Sababu There is a guy coming. Kuna mtu anakuja. Si ufurahie yangu tu. My time is almost gone, but I'm about to finish. I visited uh, Bishop Thibas father funeral. Nitembelea Bishop Thibas father's when, when they were talking about children. Wakiongea kuhusu watoto. They said he had about 40 grandchildren. Kasema alikuwa na wajukuu kama 40. And that is six great grandchildren. Na 36 vituku. And because I wanted to have 12 children and Emily refused. Kwa vile nilitaka kuwa na wawili na Emily akakata. I wanted to have a football team and a referee. Nilikuwa na kikundi cha mpira na referee wao. But she told me we will get grandchildren. Kaniambia tutapata vituku. Praise Jesus. Bwana asifiwe. The bride of Jesus Christ. Yule biharusi wa Yesu Kristo must be sensitive. Lazima awe mejihisi because of the reward. Awe makini kwa sababu ya zawadi. The relatives of uh, Rebecca also benefited in verse 53. You read that when you go home. Ndugu za Rebecca pia wakafaidika utasoma au utakaporudi nyumbani. And the bride of Jesus must be like Rebecca. Na mke wa Kristo lazima basi awe kama Rebecca. And make a commitment. Na kufanya mwito. Because when they ask Rebecca, wakati waliuliza Rebecca, are you going to go with this man? Utaenenda na huyu mtu? She said yes. Akasema ndio. The Holy Spirit is asking tonight. Maybe we have some people here. Kuna watu pengine hapa. You come to church again and again and again. Unakuja kanisani tena na tena na tena. And you always postpone. Lakini unaairisha. Coming to Jesus. Kuja kwa ke Yesu. Rebecca. Rebecca. Maida. Personal decision. Akafanya uamuzi wa kibinafsi. She said, "I will go." Akasema nitaenda. I don't know him. I will go. Simjui lakini nitaenda. I've never met him. I will go. Sija kutana na yeye nitaenda. And just to finish here, I want you to know that in verse sixty-three. Aya sisi tena tatu. Isaac was found in a place of prayer and meditation. Isaac akapatikana mahali pa maombi na tafakari. Isaac was out in the field. Alikuwa kule nje and Shabbat. when Rebecca saw him. Wakati Rebecca alimuona, she asked, "Who is the man?" Akauliza yule mtu ni yupi? And she was told is the bridegroom. Akaambia ndiye bwana harusi. And she put on a veil. Akaweka lile veil. Eh, she put on a veil. Akaweka paweka lile shweka laki. I came here to tell some people. Nimekuja kuambia hawa tu. Sometimes you need to cover your beauty. Sa zingine unafaa kufunika urembo wako. Because of the bridegroom. Kwa sababu ya yule bwana harusi. Sometimes. Sa zingine. You need to make a decision. Unafaa kufanya uamuzi. Not to do some things. Usifanya mambo fulani. Because of your bridegroom. Kwa sababu ya bwana harusi wako. Verse 63, I see that Rebecca, Rebecca sitting at to her to on an evening. Gioni. Remember, Rebecca was found on an evening. Kumbuka alipatikana Gioni. And they met with Isaac on an evening. Na wanakutana na Isaka Gioni. She was found in a place of well. Alipatikana mahala pakisima. The place of the presence of God. Mahali po yowepo wa mungu. And they met with Isaac. Wakakutana na Isaka. In a prayer retreat center. Mahali papa ba maombi. Be found. Patikana. In the presence of God. Kwa mahali pa maombi. Be found. Patikana. In the presence of God. Mahala kwenye uwepo wa mungu. I say again be found. Nasema tena patikana. 
in the presence of God. Let us watch and wait what a place to meet the bride. I want to make some declaration in the name of Jesus. If you stand up in this place, I want to make some declaration because finally, Isaac, our bridegroom. Eventually, Musho got married to Rebecca. And one of these days, Jesus, our bridegroom, who have remained in heaven, one of these days, the trumpet will be sounded. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't wait for that day. Amen. I can't wait for that day. I can't wait for that day. Praise the name of Jesus. I can't wait for that day. It will be a great day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you see the Holy Spirit said that Jesus not come back until everything is restored. I want you to focus on certain things that the enemy has stolen. And some of them aided your worship to God. I want to pray that after this conference that God will meet you at the point of your needs.